So you want to install Windows 11 on your Mac Pro and you have a 4,1 to 7,1 Mac Pro. Today's episode in the third part of the bootcamp mini-series of this Mac Pro season, uh, we will be talking about how to install Windows 11 on your 4,1 to 7,1 Mac Pro. So let's get to it. Anyway, guys, I'm Greg Wyke here at Rock Game Mods, and welcome to episode 8 of season 4 of my Mac Pro series, where in today's episode we will be showing you the workarounds to get Windows 11 to natively boot on your 4.1 to 7.1 Mac Pro. So let's get to it. All right, so forewarning, if you guys don't want to hear me ramble and just want to skip straight to the tutorial, um, uh, check this timestamp wherever I put it on the screen. But um, yeah. Today is October 7th. I started filming these videos October 3rd, and uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot changed between when I tested this and uh, when I filmed the video. Um, I tested everything on my MacBook Pro, which uses similar hardware and stuff, uh, back in, I think it was September 30th. And, uh, well, September 30th was... A whole different copy of Windows 11, which was 23H2, and uh, it's now lo no longer available from Microsoft. Uh, you can't download it since October 1st. Uh, you can still download it from the Internet Archive, and it takes forever to download. Uh, if you want to use 23H2, go for it, but it's only supported until, I think it's October of 2025. Uh, we're installing the newest version, which is 20. Uh, 24H2, and uh, 24H2, Rufus doesn't work anymore um, to do it the way we're going to do it on this video. Um, you can still make a uh, bootable flash drive and wipe the whole system uh, to install 24H2, or you can do it the way we're going to do it, and uh, this way should, in theory, work. I haven't tested it yet, so um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to this website right here and download Windows 11 24H2, uh, and I, you will need the ISO of it. Um, so we'll do the multi-edition, hit download, pick your language, Okay, so once you get your download link here, you'll do the 64-bit download, and it will download it. And once it's downloaded, we will come back. Okay, we now have it downloaded, and we can pull this over to the desktop. And what we can do is mount it by just double-clicking and hitting open, and it will mount the ISO file in a virtual DVD drive. And I want to show you what's going to happen when we run setup. All Macs right now that support Windows 11 unofficially, um, for 24H2 anyway, um, need to have at least uh, TPM 2.0. No Mac has TPM. Um, so that's a problem. So here's the error message you'll get here. Uh, it says you must have TPM 2.0 and uh, that the processor isn't supported and stuff. 24H2 is the first OS that requires SSE 4.2, for one thing. 23H2 uh, uh, would work on the 3.1 and older, so uh, if you don't mind having support until October 2025 and then nothing, you could do this with 23H2 also. Uh, but, getting back to the point here, to get Windows 11 to install over Windows 10, you've got to trick it a little bit. Windows 11, since the day it came out, has had the same uh, hack that works, strangely enough, uh, every single time. And so far, this is the only way you can get Windows 11 to update to the next version. So if you're in Windows 11 right now uh, on like 23H2, you can run the setup the way we're going to do it. Uh, and it will install over top it. 
But uh, what Windows 11 has is um, a server installer, which is really weird. Uh, Windows Server does not require TPM, which uh, is the only thing actually preventing this from installing. Um, so, uh, for some reason, Windows 11 still has Windows Server's installer built into it, and uh, they haven't removed it. So there's a way to get around it currently by doing it the way we're going to do it. So, to fix this problem, we hit close. We uh, search for command prompt, so we type in CMD, right-click on it, hit run as administrator. Then what we need to do is go to our directory, which is drive D. And uh, what we need to do is type in setup.exe forward slash product server and hit enter and it opens up the installer again and now it says install Windows Server which this will still install Windows 11 uh, so yeah I, I don't know why they still included this but it's convenient that they do anyway you don't want to do the updates because there's no point and uh, it speeds up everything hit next it starts getting things ready and it skips the bypass, the, uh, the check there. Uh, we'll want to keep all file settings and apps. Hit next. All right, and it says it's for install Windows 11 Pro, which is what we need. It's got everything kept there. If you accidentally hit the wrong thing, you can hit change what to keep, and then go to keep file settings and apps, and hit install and it will start installing Windows 11. All right, it's starting to get ready to restart here. We'll let, just let it do its thing. And it's starting to install. Here we are booting into Windows 11. Here we are in Windows 11. It was that fast and that simple. It actually took yeah, about 20-25 minutes to install, if that. It wasn't too long. But now we have Windows 11 running. We can verify that it is actually in Windows 11 here. So if we go to system, here's the CPU to our 6 comma 1 and 24H2. We are now in Windows 11 and we're running the most recent version. If we go down here, we still have boot camp. See if control panel opens. It doesn't. We'll do a quick restart and see if that fixes it. So take it from me, Boot Camp does actually work. In fact, we can double check and make sure the drivers work here. All the drivers are installed, everything works. Um, control panel's just not popping up. Uh, I had the same error with Windows 10 and after I uh, restarted it a few times, it worked. Uh, you don't actually need control panel. It's really uh, mainly for if you want to boot back into an HFS drive, um, which, uh, yeah, it, the boot camp drivers don't support APFS. So you still have to use the boot menu to boot into Mac OS. Um, that and uh, Mac specific hardware things, uh, if you need to tweak those. But on a Mac Pro, you really don't need that. And the drivers themselves still work, and as you saw, it did briefly pop up there. It's some kind of permission problem I'll have to look into, but it does work. Everything's working here. I um, wonder if the screen, yep, the screen controls still work, as we can see here. That's cool. 
Yeah, everything still works. Boot camp works. All the drivers are installed. Everything works. We've installed Windows 11. It works on my 6.1 Mac Pro. And these instructions will help you with your 4.1 to 7.1. And it should just work. So congratulations if you followed this and it worked for you. And uh, hey, we're all set here. So let's wrap up the video. So yeah, that's installing Windows 11 on your 6.1 Mac Pro. Of course, this will work for the 4.1 all the way to the 7.1. Uh, just following this tutorial, it should in theory work. And if you're upgrading from 23H2, you can follow these instructions and update it. Uh, the server hack still works currently. But uh, who knows, by the time 25H2 or whatever they're going to call it comes out next year, um, that hack might not work. And we may have to work a different workaround. As you can see, it runs totally fine. Everything works on here. Control panel is hit or miss for boot camp, but all the boot camp features work. Um, I'm not sure why it's not working because I've gotten control panel to work in 11 multiple times. It might just be this system and this version of boot camp because I'm using a slightly older version of boot camp 6 on some other systems. Um, and this is the first time I've used this version. Okay, I got 24H2 on my MacBook Pro now, and if we go over to control panel here, it actually works. I, I'm not sure why it, it picks and chooses. I guess the newer versions of Boot Camp 6 aren't fully compatible, but as we can see, it is Boot Camp 6, and it just it works, so go figure. But it does work as we saw. Everything's working fine. You can hit the controls and it will pop up on the screen as you can see there. And everything's just working. Um, I just don't know why the control panel won't pop up. Oh well. But yeah, this tutorial will actually still work on the older Mac Pros as long as you're installing 23H2. Um, the 3 comma 1 and older uh, will still work until October 2025, I think. Uh, then after that, security updates stop. And if you update to 24H2, it will break your install. It will never boot again. So do not update on those older systems. But on the 4.1 and to the 7.1 Mac Pro, it works great. Uh, it's flawless. It runs really speedy. And it just does everything it needs to do in Windows. And uh, we're going to be doing more things with Windows on this system here. And I'm looking forward to it. But yeah. That's the end of today's video. And don't forget, guys, um, I've got memberships, Patreon. I even have um, Buy Me a Coffee now, which is pretty neat. So if you want to buy me a coffee, go for it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, memberships and all that stuff. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, et cetera, et cetera. And that's the end of today's video. This has been a Red Mods video. exe forward slash space forward slash server hit enter and it immediately just starts and it didn't do it because I must have typed it in wrong I'll be right back mother uh, once you use Rufus and um, well it just didn't work and what is going on with this screen Let's try that again. I hate this series. So yeah, that's installing.